Hey guys, this is Guy. So we're going to be doing a, uh, another battle report. This time we're going to do a Stronghold Assault. And we've picked the last stand mission in the back of the book, which gives me uh, three, fortific three fortification choices, as well as the normal four sword. Gives my opponent an additional heavy um, on each force org per detachment. So I'm going to go over my forces. I'm going to be the defender today, and I'm going to be running Crimson Fists. My warlord today is going to be Lysander. I know he's normally an Imperial Fist, but I like him so much. He has the same chapter tactics, and so since it's legal, I went ahead and painted him up Crimson style. I decided to go troops heavy because the delayed reserves is going to probably give me quite a bit of a problem. So I'm running four tactical squads here. Two of them have melted guns, two of them have flamers. Two of melt uh, missile launchers. One has a LAS cannon, one has a heavy bolter. Their sergeants are each a veteran sergeant with no upgrades. I got one five man assault squad. Now, I don't think the assault squad is really going to be super helpful in the close combat area, but with the des delayed reserves, the fast attack choices come in faster than the infantry ones. They have a better chance of coming in. So I thought I might be able to get them in to man the main cannon if I lose it to my strong point. I'm going to go over my fortifications in a minute. I brought in a unit of stern guard because I just always do. It kind of fits the fluff for the crimson fists. Um, they're probably going to hide out in a bunker and try not to get wasted turn one. I'm going to do something a little different I don't normally do. I'm working on scratch building a unit of uh, Legion of the Damned. Now these guys are only started. I haven't fully painted them yet, except for the sergeant. And I've equipped these guys with a plasma gun and a heavy flamer. They come in by deep strike, which also allows them to come in a little bit faster with the delayed reserves than everyone else. And I'm bringing one inquisitor with three servo skulls. I had a few points left, and I figured he might, mainly his servo skulls might come in handy. Alright, so that was my 3,000 points. Oh, let me go over my strong Okay, my fortifications. So I took the Aquila Strong Point. Sorry, I just picked the stuff up this weekend, so I haven't had a chance to paint any of it. I got a couple of the automated cannons, the battle cannons. I got two of the readouts with the quad Icarus Last cannons. I got one defense line set up, and my defense and placement is just kind of scattered in there. And uh, the way I kind of set up here is because you're not able to use the 12 inches on either side you only have a four foot deployment and I had a hard time fitting all this stuff in here now the bunker was mandatory I personally wouldn't have picked it if it wasn't so I kinda just threw him out in front to provide cover if nothing else to one of my redoubts with those elevated Icarus Slash cannons I figured they'd still have a pretty good line of sight to any flyers that came in and if uh, there's anything else closer if there's no flyers they can be shooting at the tanks or whatever comes close I'm running the macro cannon. Um, out of my two choices, I thought it was the better one. And let's see, uh, that's what I got to work with. Now, with that deployment zone of only four feet, that made me have to push a lot closer to my opponent than I thought I'd be. So now I'm a lot more worried about all of his melta guns coming my way, but we'll just have to see what happens. So we're going to go ahead and go over my uh, opponent's army with his deployment. Now what he, he's using my Imperial Guard with a few of his own Imperial Guard models. He's using tons and tons of heavy weapon squads. Last cannons all the way across the board as far as I can tell. He's got a Khmer with his HQ in here. He took the Master of the Forge, the Astropath, and the Master of the Fleet. Just a mess with my already pathetic reserves, with delayed reserves. Um, in reserves, he's got, what is that, one or two platoon? Just one platoon squad? Five platoons? That's not five guys. <laughs> I guess the rest are in a box someplace. And uh, he's using my Lehman Russes here. It looks like he's got four, five, six normal Lehman Russes, one demolisher. Oh, there's more infantry over there in another pile. That's where they went. All right. Oh, and. High dress. So, glad I didn't bring any flyers. Alright, so we're going to see what... <laughs> yeah, he just noticed I didn't take any flyers. Not way right. over there. The flyer. Hmm? Alright, we'll see what happens. Oh, he's taking one of my Valkyries too. Alright, so... 
Let's see if I'm going to go ahead and deploy, and then I'll go over my deployment. Okay, so in my deployment now, with the delayed reserve rolls and him being a turkey and bringing that master of the fleet, I went ahead, even though this is a kill point mission, split all my squads into combat squads because my infantry is only coming in on a 6 plus out of reserves. So I need as many rolls as possible. And I only get three infantry units on the table. So what I did is I took a combat squad here in the bunker in the back. I took Lysander, because he is infantry character, I put him manning the macro cannon, because I figured the last cannons aren't really going to be able to see him very well. He's getting a 4 plus cover, 3 plus invulnerable, 2 plus armor, plus internal warrior, so hopefully he'll survive. And uh, my full 10 man stern guard are going to be on this deployment zone, giving them a little extra shooting. Hopefully that building lasts a turn and doesn't get destroyed on the first turn from all those last cannons. And that's all my deployment. The rest of my army has to start in reserves. So we're just going to have to roll for seas and see what happens. Is there night fighting? Yes, there is night fighting. And do I seize? Yes, I seize. On film. Movement phase. I didn't do squat. Okay, my shooting's over. This guy fired at the closest enemy unit, which was the last can squad where those dice are. And between him and the last can is here, also had to fire at him because he was the closest. Managed to kill that one squad of three out. My macro cannon fired at this squad on the hill, and due to being within 12 inches of my servo skull, didn't scatter very much and managed to take out the entire squad on the hill. The stern guard inside here fired um, their Kraken shells and managed to kill one of the last cannons in that squad. Being the closest unit to this artillery battery, they also fired there, but due to scattering a little bit, only managed to kill one guy, so he has one last cannon left there. My last cannons on this redoubt had to fire at the last cannon squad in the forest and managed to kill two of them, so there's still one left there, and he's going to need to take some uh, leadership tests. So he does not run. How about the guy by the forest? Six, seven, he's fine. He's aces. And that's all his leadership tests. So let's see what he can do to me. So IG movement phase. For phase one, he moved the guy in the forest a little bit closer into the woods so that he would be the closest target to my redoubt. Um, rather than the Chimera with his HQ, which is hiding behind. He then tried to... Um, uh, Issued some orders to bring it down on the bunker, but unfortunately failed the leadership test. So we're going to see what all these last cannons can do. To so the uh, Imperial Guard had their shooting. He fired pretty much this entire half of the table at my readout. Didn't get through any damage. Then he fired a couple squads at my bunker. Didn't scratch it, but the last last cannon's crew came through and silenced one of my big guns over there. So that hurts me a lot because I don't have very many guns on the table. Now, uh... His assault phase is nothing. We're going to see what comes in on my reserves. I don't expect much. Okay, so I've done my reserves and my movement. So my assault squad came in on a five, and they dropped right up next to these last cannons. I put them within 12 inches of the servo skull, so I only scattered one die. Same thing with my Legion of the Damned. I've put them right next to this last cannon team with the heavy flamer right out front. He'll probably get killed first, but that's okay. He'll hopefully at least get two of the heavy cannons. Um, and the only other squad that came in was one combat squad of Crimsons with the missile launcher. I had them run right up onto the bunker, and at least the missile launcher might be able to get some shots in. Now it'll have to snapshot this turn, but there's no tanks for it to shoot at anyways. So we'll see what happens after my shooting phase. Crimson Fist shooting phase is over. With the macro cannon, I managed to smack the Chimera because I really need to take care of that Astropath and that Master of the Fleet for my reserves to actually start doing something. My redoubt killed the uh, last cannon that was hiding in here. My stern guard killed the one lone last cannon that's in there. The battle cannon from my automated turret managed to kill one of the last cannons there. In fact, he's going to have to move those squads. They're out of coherency now. This squad snap fired when I should have ran and missed and did nothing. The readout here 
didn't fire. I'll be right back. Okay, so the readout shot at that squad and managed to miss all four shots. Uh, the Legion of the Dam flamed and then shot to death the squad on the hill. My assault squad, I didn't think they'd be able to kill the last cannons outright, so I just ran up to kind of block their line of sight a little bit, give them something to think about and not be so nicely grouped for a battle cannon shot since his reserves should be coming in here pretty quick. Now he needs to roll reserves on that squad. Let's see if he gets it. He does, so let's go on to his uh, movement phase. Well, here comes the reinforcements, and oh, did he roll well. So he's got Lemonrus, Lemonrus, Hydra, Katachin Command Squad behind the Hydra, Lemonrus, Katachin Squad wrapping around it. Um, the last cannon of the team is still there. Another Hydra, another Lehman Russ. Another Cadian squad, another Lehman Russ, a Valkyrie, and um, yeah, I was feeling pretty good about myself a minute ago. I'm not so much now, but I'm going to see if my interceptor can take that Valkyrie down before it can shoot. So one minute. Okay, these pilots need a raise. They managed to jink three penetrating hits and one glancing hit. So yeah, they're awesome. All right, now let's go see what he can kill me with. So my buddy Derek just totally kicks my ass. So look at my dead pile first off. All right, and look what's left on the field. Not a whole hell of a lot of anything. So with his battle cannons, um, he was able to blast this redoubt out of the world. His last cannons took out the bunker. And then his remaining battle cannons took out the other redoubt. So uh, that leaves me with one automatic gun and the big boy all that's left and what little bit of my infantry are going to be clamoring for that like madmen so let's see what happens with my reserves and movement phase so I actually had a really good reserves roll all but two of my units came in so this squad came in hid behind the bunker or the gun battery real bad place to be because I see lots of templates coming in it but I didn't know where else to put them this guy ran into the defense emplacement probably going to be going to ground these guys also managed to run into the emplacement. The squad's actually inside this section of the uh, strong point. These guys spread out a little bit. Rocket launcher didn't move, so he can actually fire. Inquisitor's hiding behind the building. This squad's actually inside the building, hiding, because nothing's within their range. This squad managed to get up onto the building, and not much else. So let's see if I can do anything with my pathetic shooting fit. Got to mention, my Legion of the Dam spread out a little bit to roast himself some guardsmen. My assault squad jumped actually behind the last cannons because they're looking kind of hard at that Lehman Russ. Well, at a decent shooting phase, my D cannon managed to wipe out his command squad, his warlord, and two of the Lehman Russes. My automated battle cannon managed to destroy most of the guys in front of the Lehman Russ but bounce harmlessly off its armor. My Legion of the Dam slaughtered the uh, Imperial Guardsmen. And my Assault Marines managed to kill one of the last cannon teams and kill their own plasma pistol guy. Uh, on a side note, I just realized that his Strength 8 battle cannons that destroyed my redoubts were completely incapable of destroying my redoubts due to the Strength 8 can only do glancing hits on the buildings, but. It's my bad, it's too late, I'm going to go ahead and leave them off and we'll just see if I can recover from that mistake, but that was a 500 point mistake, so we'll see. My assault phase, my assault squad came up here, destroyed the last cannons and moved up here into a threatening position onto the Commissar and the Lehman Russ. Alright, so his uh, shooting is Imperial Guard repositioned, most of his shooting was over here, was pretty effective. Uh, they fired up at these Crimson Fists that went to ground, and I still ended up losing one guy. His Valkyrie came over here and managed to knock one point off his armor, so he's down to armor 13. The last cannons, I don't think did anything, because I don't remember what they, they shot at. The oh, they fired at the battery and were ineffective, that's right. His Lehman Russes opened up into the Legion of the Damned and managed to kill one guy. And his commissar and one last marine 
fired at the assault marines and also failed to do any damage. So now on to his assault phase. Okay, reserves, one more squad, combat squad with a missile launcher came in. So the squad in here got out, the squad with the missile launcher went in. Uh, these guys stayed still, they stayed still, they're pinned. Okay, so they stay still, they stay still, they're pinned. They kind of just position themselves behind the lines. He tried to get in range so maybe he can use his cracking shots on something. He got up to the front, so if anything does come within 24 inches, he might be able to shoot at it. And these guys moved to try to get out of the way of the D cannon, which is going to try to land right there. And my assault squad came in behind. I'm not sure if I'm going to go after a Lehman Russ, the last cannon team, or else if my D cannon is going to scatter and wipe them out. I'm not sure yet. So let's get on shooting and find out. So the macro cannon. Managed to take out both of those Lehman Russes that were tightly grouped. My uh, Legion of the Dam fired their plasma gun into the side of the Hydra. It failed to do anything because of the cover from the Lehman Russ. My squad over here managed to fire at the Hydra and knocked a hull point and the heavy bolter off. My weapon battery here fired at the Lehman Russ and bounced help harmlessly off of its armor because it has to fire at the closest unit. And that was the extent of my shooting. So on to the assault phase. I think I'm going to have those assault marines try to see if they can kill the Lehman Russ. Alright, so my Legion of the Dam uh, multi-assaulted the Hydra and the Lehman Russ. I didn't touch the Lehman Russ, but between the crack grenades from the Legion of the Dam and the assault marines on the back of the Legion Dam, I managed to wreck it. So my turn is done, and it is on to my buddy's turn. So let's see what he can do to me here. So the Demolisher moved up into the tree line. The Hydra moved up. Lehman Rest moved up. These guys, I'm not sure they moved. I think they just kind of scurried around where they were. Command squad stayed back there. And then the rest of his army, finally the Catachins came in. And it seems like everything in his army positioned themselves to wipe out my Legion of the Dam and the assault squad that's back there. So we'll have to wait and see how his shooting goes. Oh, yeah. And Marbo popped up. And this is the model we're using for Marbo. He ended up popping up right in amongst my guys. So I'm expecting a battle cannon shot from his demo charge right in the middle of my stuff. So this should be a fun turn for him. All right. So... First rank fire, second rank fire, about 90 shots coming in to my Legion of the Dam, killed one guy. Last cannons firing into my assault marines, killed one guy. That Hydra, that Hydra, both firing into my Legion of the Damned, killed one guy. But... Valkyrie came over here and just totally slapped my last gun emplacement to heck. So he's getting all kinds of bonus victory points for my installations, meaning I only have one left. Of course, it is the big one, but we'll see what he can do. So moving on to my three, my turn. So here's the end of my movement phase. This squad moved out a little bit. This last guy who was trailing behind went ahead and moved into the embankment. He moved over a little bit to give them some room. They've stayed still. These have repositioned themselves to barbecue Marbo. My Legion of the Dam, even though it's crazy, have decided to position themselves to return the favor to the um, Catachins and see what I'm able to do to them. Now look, that guy back just a little bit. All right. My assault marines moved over here. They're going to be going after the last cannons and see what they can do there. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what happens. So my Legion of the Dam came in here, flamed and shot up his uh, catechins, managed to kill 10 out of the 30. It's a pretty good reduction size, but now it means I have to take another round of fire from him. My Assault Marines managed to actually kill one of the last cannons, but now I'm gonna be getting it. A crack missile from the bunker, 
Took another hull point off of his Hydra and makes it work and only snap fire next turn. The squad managed to barbecue and uh, slaughter Marbo. And my D cannon killed a, another Lehman Ross that was right there. I tried snap firing a melted gun into the Valkyrie and it missed. So that's pretty much all I got. Oh, my one last lone stern guard managed to snipe one of the um, uh, guardsmen over there. So that's all I've done. So let's see what I can do in the assault phase. So I'm about two and a tenth inches away from the last cans for my assault and I rolled a two. But luckily I didn't lose anything on the uh, overwatch, but it still means they're in a bad way. So, my opponent's turn. So his catechins are just standing their ground, and I'm going to be rapid firing the heck out of my uh, Legion of the Dead back to their dead status. Everybody just kind of stayed put here to shoot the heck out of my assault marines. These squads moved a little bit more over to get over here to where the fun is. He moved over just a little bit to get a better arc of firing. He's getting a little bit closer to try to get the Demolisher Cannon close enough to my guy to do some damage, my base. And the Vendetta actually dropped from flying down to hovering. Moved back 12 inches to get out of the range of my Melta Gun, but it's going to light up this squad of three and see if he can get a kill point. Alright, so he lit up this squad over here with both the Valkyrie and the Demolisher and managed to kill all but one of them who's gone to ground and is hiding. The Hydra killed the last of the Stern Guard. And let me, actually I forgot to take leadership on him. Be right back. He's fine. Okay, so these guys opened up everything they can on him and managed to kill two more of them. So the Legion of the Dam is down half strength. He opened up the last cannons and one Hydra into my assault marines there, but they managed to make all their saves or missed, were missed with the last cannons. So now we roll to see if there's another turn. And on a 3 plus we keep going. 6, we keep going. So my last squad of um, uh, reserves have come in, they're making a beeline for the cover. These guys just kind of stayed still. They stayed still. Lysander's still there. They're hiding in the bunker. He is still gone to ground. The squad's kind of positioning themselves. They're still standing forward. My assault marines move forward to get a better bead on those last cannons, so hopefully next time they won't fail the charge. But with my luck, I'll kill that one and then fail to charge the other one. And my uh, Legion of the Dam are saying, the heck with it, they're moving forward into the uh, Catachan, so let's see what happens. D Cannon destroyed the Demolisher that was over there. And the rest of my shooting here was completely ineffective on this side. I snap fired a last cam, fired two crack missiles into a hovering Valkyrie. It jinked one, one miss, and the other one bounced harmlessly off of its armor, so this sucker is untouched. <laughs> My assault squad came in here, managed to do one wound and only one hit on the last cannon team, so they're about to try to assault. My Legion of the Dam killed, I think, a total of eight, ten eight, nine. or nine of the catechins with shooting, and now they're going to try to assault and see if we can accomplish anything. So off to the assault phase. So in this battle between the Legion of Dam and the Catachin, I lost most of my guys to Overwatch fire, but once I managed to get in there, I killed a whopping one Catachin. In response, he did nothing, um, so we just stayed in there. He made his leadership test. Over here, my Assault Marines managed to finish off the last of the last cannons crews, but now they're looking at that squad bearing down on them, so I'm not expecting the last two guys to last very long. So off for my opponent's turn. So that one guy, hiding, took all the fire from that Hydra, that Valkyrie, and that Hydra. Uh, he did lose his partner, but he managed to survive. And since he's one of the last standers, that saves me some victory points. Over there, my assault marines were fired on by the Imperial Guard squad over there but they managed to not kill any of my marines. 
And now, his Catachin are going to try to kill me in close combat. So we'll see what happens. So the two Legion of the Damned are still holding out. They managed to kill off two of the Catachins and took no wounds themselves. So we'll just go on to the next turret if there is one. Go ahead and roll the magic pink die. As soon as I find it. Five. We have another turn. So my only movement phase was my assault marines jumped in behind his hydra to see if they can cause a little pain to it. Everybody else stayed still. Right, so my entire army fired at that Valkyrie that was right there, and everything missed until the D cannon. It took my last shot to manage to kill that thing, so my shooting phase this turn was pretty pathetic. So let's see if my assault phase can be any better. And in the assault phase, my assault squad was able to wreck the Hydra. Now on to the battle between the Legion of the Dam and the Catachins. So our close combat over here, nothing happened. I killed none, he killed none. We just keep on fighting. So, game is over. Um, on his last turn, he shot up my assault marines, managed to kill one of them, so all that's left is the sergeant. He fired his Hydra at the one guy who's mm. hiding, and he managed to survive. In the assault phase, I managed to kill one Catachin with my Legion. He killed none, made his leadership, so they just continue to tarp at each other. And that's game. So, judging by the number of heavy weapon squads, I think we did the math, and the uh, Crimson Fists actually managed to win this battle. Even though I've got nothing left of my fortifications except for the big boy that he never actually attempted to shoot at because yeah, there's Let's just not much to really do. Are broken. <laughs> what was that? Let's get real. The weapons are broken. Yes, they are. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.